Yes, bruv. So today I'm going to be reacting to your sim rigs and some of them are absolutely incredible, bruv. I might just sit here and look at it for the next three hours, bruv. And other ones are so bad, you might as well go to the dump and just flipping chuck them away. Do you want to know how much this costs as well? £47,000. Enjoy the video, boys. First impressions. Wow. Look at the colour scheme. The black, the white, the grey. Literally, the colour scheme is unbelievable, yeah. Like, look, let's just take a minute, yeah, to appreciate the keyboard. Wow. That is beautiful, bruv. They've got a little Simia Cube 2 over there. I'm not sure if that's a pro or if that's just a standard sport one, innit? But it looks like a pro, but I can't see. I can't see, so I can't properly judge. You've got the Husing Veld Sprints. So far, this setup is looking unreal. I'm not sure what cockpit that is. I think that's an RC cockpit, but this setup is a flipping 11 out of 10, mate. Next generation. They know my name and I step in the station. I take it this rig's Ferrari themed, innit? it? Because they've got a Ferrari hat there and they're driving a flipping Ferrari car. But anyway, using a trusty G29, that's what I started out on about four years ago mate that's what got me into racing the g29 the best wheel you could ever start off with it's like 200 quid mate you can't go wrong with that at all man I had to get the flex in bruv look look at the vip f1 ticket bruv bruv these people i've got too much money bruv you know them tickets are like two three grand allow it you ain't got our flex to us because you see man's i am rich as well isn't it <laughs> i'm joking i'm the furthest from rich bruv i like the wooden desk as well paired with the monitor you know what this rig it's not a rig, is it? This setup is flipping beautiful, I can't lie. It is quite nice, but this setup's arranged nicely, isn't it? It's not like the best setup you'll ever see, but it's got a nice arrangement to it. So I'll give it a 6 out of 10 for arrangement. Oh, no, I'm not even laughing. I'm not even laughing, but look, I think it might be a bit uncomfortable for a long period of time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That chair, you know them chairs that you get at the barbecues, like at a family barbecue and they have them spare chairs and you sit on them for about 20 minutes and then your back starts hurting and you feel like you've got osteoporosis or whatever the flipping bone disease is called. That is literally what this reminds me of. G G27, again, good wheel, good pedals. However, it's not on a very sturdy rig. If I was to get on that rig and push the brake pedal, I think it would flip and go through the floor. But the telly, bruv, what's going on with the telly? It's like so big. Them lot must be wearing... Them lot must be wearing some flipping big blue eye glasses, bruv, because that telly would make my headache go crazy, blood. I can't speak English today, innit? But see if you play, blood. <laughs> what am I doing? But I've got to rate the effort because look at the keyboard and mouse on the chair next to it. Like, that is practical thinking. Like, fair play to the man for thinking that. Is that like a spare couch in the background or is it just... I don't really know, but that's a bit creepy, bruv. I can't lie. Imagine just sitting in your sim rig and looking over there and you just see some flipping ghost, bruv, just looking at you like this. Oh, bruv, nah. I'm giving this setup a good 3 out of 10 because the, the practicality of putting the keyboard and mouse on a chair, I like it. I like it. I might just sit here and look at it for the next three hours, bruv. This is so fit, bruv. It's like, you know when you're at an airport and you walk past one of them girls and you like never see them again? This is one of them flipping setups, bruv. The wall art, amazing. The PC... That PC has got me in bits, bruv. It's so nice. The LED lights, the accents, everything is so nice, man. The, the only thing that I'd really say is, why you only got one monitor on your rig, bruv? DD1 wheelbase, the swivel arm for the keyboard. It, it's all just adding up. My man's even got a little drink on the table. Come on, bruv. We know you're out here living life. I rate the setup. I'm giving you a 15 out of 10. I can't lie, boys. I think I've just come across an airplane. What is this, bruv? This is the definition of his dad is a plumber, so he built him a rig. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? There's bare pipes, bruv. What? He's got Husingveld Ultimates on that rig. They're like the best pedals on the sim racing market. The shifter's like dodgy. The headphones look like they've discolored from like 10 years of use, bruv. They were definitely white back in 1940. Do you get what I mean, bruv? The monitors have no backs to them. I think that might be to keep like temperature down or something. But, bruv, it's just the most impractical setup ever. And that seat looks like it'd give me scoliosis, osis, scoliosis, bruv. Double scoliosis. One out of ten. Now, listen here, boys. This isn't a dedicated sim rig. This is also a flight sim as well. Look, I can see the pedals and the steering wheel in the background, innit? So, we're going to rate it anyway. My man's got the nice monitor. The monitor's perfect size, I reckon. From that distance, is a good size. He's got the two radars on the flipping the thing. I bet them radars are bare expensive as well. My man's got the uh, the 
the hotas hands on throttle and stick come on bruv he's got that on the right and left obviously ergonomics be nice and comfortable when he wants to do some sim driving he can put his wheel on the metal uh, on the wooden thing where the radars are and he can put his pedals where the rudders are that sim right there eight out of ten for practicality and thoughtfulness bruv this is like the most simple sim i've ever seen but it is so effective man literally you can't see a single cable in sight look tell me if you can see a cable exactly oh maybe there is behind the pc but we don't talk about that in it sharp man i think that's a simu cube 2 pro or no it's a simu cube 2 ultimate bruv because it's the length of it you see that obviously he's got the triple monitors they're all lined up perfectly the seat the houston veld ultimate pluses which are the new version they're about 1300 pound on their own it's just the only thing is you see the sofa on the right it must be in his front room so if he's racing and say his family are sitting on the sofa and he's pushing the brake and pushing the throttle and it makes noise bruv that's going to be well annoying for that flipping marjorie and a baby in it so seven out of ten for looks but it's missing a three because of the just where it's placed in it so yeah don't even chat to me about Bruh. the seating position big man ting one is a flipping beach seat bruv secondly why has he got two throttles bruv i don't i is that for a reason or anyway look at that monitor bruv you know them boy from like 1820s bruv sitting there with their victorian frilly neck things yeah this is what they was watching telly on bruv we're in the 21st century bruv come on man he's even got glasses on the top bruv i beg you just clean your room it's not that hard to move a few glasses to the other side of the camera so you can't see them when you're flipping taking a photo do you know what i mean come on just use a brain bruv zero out of ten man oh bro i don't know what i'm waffling about i don't know what to think of this one bruv like genuinely why is it floating bruv like it's not even on the floor big man it looks like a spaceship from 2137 bruv big man look the monitor's like the control dash and the station bit the steering wheel's the way you turn it this does not look like it should be in someone's house bruv this looks like it should be an exhibition or something do you know what do you want to know how much this costs as well Forty-seven thousand pound bruv i'm gone i'm gone bye have a great time 47 grand for that allow it bruv zero out of ten stop violating bruv all right now this is a mad one bruv this is diy to the max what is them dustbins around the flipping chair legs bruv someone please answer that question i'm so confused bruv why has my man got dustbins around the flipping chair legs bruv there's two jokes bruv and then the, once again the telly's from 1960s bruv that's what my granddad used to watch flipping channel two on because back then there was only three channels in it he's got a thrust master wheel the tmx is quite good to be fair it's i think it's a step up from the g29 i've never used one obviously but i think it's a step up the pedals pedals are not good at all bruv i don't even think there's a load still or anything in the brake big man ting why are there pedals duct tape to a piece of wood bruv it's to stop a moving in it but at the same time surely if you just push the brake the duct tape's gonna rip bruv like and just that's it and he's playing on xbox as i can see look you can see he's playing on xbox so i reckon i'd give this rig a good three out of ten just for the thoughtfulness drop me a like and follow bye